All right, guys. Today we are going to talk about lasers. We're going to talk about some lasers. It's Friday. I'm in Arizona. So let's get down to it. We're going to be talking about the Milwaukee line laser. We're going to talk about that one. And we're going to talk about the Hilti PM30 MG laser. This is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about accessories a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to make a quick video this time. We're going to talk about price. And then we'll take a look on the green beam and on all that stuff. We'll take a look on how thin it is, give you an idea of, you know, how it, you know, how thick, how thin it is and how thick it's not. So, starting with the Milwaukee version, this right here is this right here is four hundred dollars. This is basic. You get nothing. You don't get a battery. This is right here is um, 400 bucks. This one right here, $702 with tax and all, you walk out of the store with $702. So if you wanna upgrade this and get the $500 version that's like this, it's 500 bucks. If you want the accessory here that allows you to, to raise it and lower it, it's an extra 50. So you're at 550 already for this, this type of laser. Now if you want the three point laser like this one here, it's 650 with tax. I just bought one. I took it back, and I'll give you the reasons. That when you watch, as you watch the video, you'll find out why I decided to go with this one. But the three-plane Milwaukee laser is 650 dollars, and that is not including this. But you do get a charger. You do get a battery, so it puts you in the right spot, right? So that's what that. This is what Milwaukee gives you. So this is why I wanted to make this video for this one here this Hilti version. This is $702. And in that $702, you get a charger, or you can run a screw in there and you can, you know, mount it on the wall and still use this metal so that you're, um, so you can connect it this too. You get here. And it has the same feature as Milwaukee. You can raise it, lower it, raise it, lower it. Get that too. And cool little kickstands. So that's cool. And on the reviews and on the book, this 4 amp battery is all you need. You can run this thing dry. If you need to charge this charger, we'll charge this thing up in 15 minutes. You'll be there halfway charged or damn near almost charged. So you can get back to work. You can go look at some drawings, go over material, um, talk about what, what you guys are going to do in the beginning of the workday. And by then, you're ready to go back in business. What really sold me on this. If you drop this thing, they can fix it. They can calibrate it. You don't, you're not out of money. This thing, you take it in, one day turnaround, and you're back in business. You buy this laser here, you drop it, it's out of whack. If you're not within that warranty, you're screwed. You're, you're done. You're buying a whole new one. So this one here, when you buy it, they give you two free, two free in the first two years. They recommend you bring it in once a year. And they give you two free uh, calibrations. First year is free, second year is free. After that, it's 65 bucks. But 65 bucks in the big picture, if you need it, it's not bad. So that's what sold me on this one. And uh, because this is, and another thing is that their uh, laser detector, they have them in stock in Milwaukee. You're talking months out before you even get one. So that's what came up, changed my mind, and uh, decided to get this one. So this is 702. battery that's 500 if you want the three plane laser that's 650 and you still don't get this you still don't get this and you still don't get one of these you have to find that and you you gotta pay extra this has a better um, long-term warranty on it so that's that so let's get down to the laser beams and I'll be about shooting the lasers about 14 feet away and I'll throw a tape measure you can see how, th how thin the, the line is all right, guys. So here we are. We're gonna shoot these lasers on. Turn them on. There we go. And we will do. How do we do this? Right here. Oh, sorry. That is the. No, that's the detector. So let's do the. Do the cross line there. And then we'll turn this one on. And you'll see there. There's the cross lines there. That one. And this is about 15 feet away. As you can see, there's the. Uh, there's a knob. The locking mechanism, unlock it, and it raises up. Oh, let's see. 
There you go, you can raise it up. It's got these plastic kind of, uh, let's see if we can take a look at them. You got these plastic, see how it's got plastic, uh, you can see that. So if they ever wear down, I don't know if this would even keep going. It might, but let's just, uh, it's still good, it works for me. All right, so there you go, you can raise it, you can lower it, you can still spin it, micro, all that good stuff still. So let's drop it down. Same thing with this one I was telling you about, it's got the same, got the same style you can raise it lock it and you only have to worry about moving this knob it locks instead of having to deal with two here you got one here this one unlocks it and this one um, releases it and raises it up and then you lock it where you want it so these are the line lasers here that's what we got so let's check out the beam unlock it bring it down top one's gonna be Hilti bottom one's gonna be Milwaukee let's take a look let's see what we got here so this is about 15 feet away and you can see the lines. It still looks like it's a little thinner over here. You know, see how it's starting to get a little fuzzy there? Razor sharp up there. But, I mean, you can make do. I've made do on a lot of things. Um, the old saying is, I can do, I've done so much with so little that I can do anything with nothing, if anybody's heard that before. So, there's your line lasers. That's the thickness of it. You know, they're really good. But it's just like a, uh, like I said, it's just a video for uh, anybody who's, Debating on the price of um, what you're going to get, what you're not going to get. And, if, um, you know, right now, Hilti, if you're really looking at three plane lasers, Hilti is the way to go. I mean, you're going to get a whole lot more. You're going to get more bang for your buck, and they can fix it and make it right. Don't, if you don't like the uh, case it comes with, if it's so big and, you know, it comes with all this stuff, if you want to change it, you can still put it in the Hilti box so you can keep all your stuff, your pack out stuff all together. You know, you can. So of course take your battery out and turn this off and you can make your Kaizen foam and you can make your own little inserts there everything good nice and tight go ahead and throw your charger in there make it nice and clean nothing moves nice and safe lock it up you're good to go this here I would not use because Ah, I just don't do enough ceiling grid to do it. So maybe I will one day. So that's another option. There's a lot of things you can do with this thing. So there you go.